Hey y'all, it's Morgan and welcome to another Behind the Makings video. Today I want to share the inspiration and creative process behind this crochet hat and these crochet mittens. So let's get to it. Back at the end of September, it started getting cold and I realized that I needed a new hat. So I made this simple little crochet hat and I mentioned it in my recent project roundup video and that was the last I was going to talk about it because it was so simple like it didn't really feel like it needed a whole video. But then I had a lot of yarn left over from it, enough to make fingerless mittens. So now you're getting the story of the hat and the mittens. So once I realized it was getting cold and I needed a hat, I, you know, did what any yarn person would do I would to my yarn and I dumped it out to see what I could find and see what inspiration would strike. And I decided on these two yarns. One is a colorful wool nylon blend that I got when I was on a trip to Maine a few years ago. And the other is a, al a dark gray alpaca yarn that I got several years ago at I think my first fiber fest in North Carolina in Raleigh. Both of these are fingering weight and I held the strands together to make the yarn thicker. For the hat, I actually held four strands together. Both of these are wound into center pull balls, so I was able to pull one from the middle and the one from the outside at the same time, and I did that for both of these at the same time, and did the hat so it's all just one collar scheme. But for the mittens, I switched it up a bit, and I alternated. I held two strands together instead of four. Um, so even down here, I just held one of each. Um, for the ribbing and so I like the contrast of them being separate but I also like the, them being together I, I don't know I like them both so it's a nice it's a nice set but one of the things that I think is fun to do with yarn is to add contrast so whether you're doing two yarns together at the same time or switching them up in rows or switching them up in a gradient or something like that I just I don't know I always think is just visually fun and these patterns are not by me I just found them when I was browsing on Pinterest but they are both free and I will link them down below if you want to go check these out. I did enjoy them. For the hat, I used this cat ear pattern, but it's really just a ribbed rectangle that you stitch up on two sides. I liked this compared to most other hat patterns that are more rounded on top. I just, I don't know, I like the way the square, squared head looks and the ears. I have three cats, so maybe just trying to blend in over here. And then just a reminder for when you're doing ribbing, you're gonna be going in the back loop, regardless if you're doing single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet. If you're doing ribbing, you're going in the back loop of the stitch. And then for the fingerless mittens, I found this really cute granny square pattern. And it was really easy. I did one less round in my granny squares than the pattern did, because I have smaller hands than most people. Um, and I was kind of using a bit bulkier yarn and a little bit bigger hook, just because it was closest. To make sure that they were fitting me, uh, before I stitched them together, I laid the squares on the back of my hand and like on the front to see like how the seams would match up um, and make sure they would fit. But these fit me very nicely. They're nice and snug, but not too snug. But you can adjust that with your own hook and rounds and preferences. And then this also has the ribbing, and I made this more like the hat by using both of the yarns together to tie them in more, if that makes sense. This set is definitely going to keep me warm this winter, at least help keep me warmer. Um, but I do have some yarn left from these, so I might have enough to make me something for my neck to really complete the set. We'll see, but that project will have to wait. I gotta get moving on my gifts for the holidays. I have not started them yet, but I got some really cool ideas and I can't wait to share them with you guys. <laughs> Be sure to subscribe and check out my Behind the Makings playlist for more creative inspiration and insight into my creative process. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye!